Here it comes. There it goes. Oh, look at it. Oh, that is exactly what I was wanting to happen. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman back with another episode of Dream Car Racing 3D. And uh, if you look around, this is a brand new map that's been introduced to the game. So we're going to be looking at this map, but we're going to need a different vehicle for this one. I'm, I, I decided to spawn in with my aunt from uh, my last video. But today we're going to be looking at some of the best creations I found in the workshop this week. And man, I went through the recent creations and there was a lot of good stuff to choose from. So I don't know what we're going to be looking at in this video, but uh, let's get to it. Okay, the first one we're going to be looking at is the Supercar GT3 by Logan. So I saw the picture of this thing in the workshop and I'm like, that looks like a really cool vehicle. Uh, it looks really street worthy and there's like a lot of highways and stuff going on with this, uh, oh, that's interesting. It's got hollow underneath. With this new map, there's a lot of like, it seems like open roads and highways, so I figured a street vehicle would be a good one to start with. So let's see how many frames this thing has. Only 475 though, it's actually a lot less than I was expecting. It looks very well optimized for frame usage. Like it's, it, it, it's got like a, a very kind of elegant look to it, the way that the frames are all lined up. It's got almost almost 200 almost 200 panels on this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take this thing on the road. So here's an overview of the map. It looks like we have um, a racetrack road kind of thing going around. That looks like it might be pretty good for this car. And then it also looks like we've got some type of bridge system. And are these jumps? I think these might be jumps here as well. And it's like, oh, it looks like here's a jump here going across this valley. So this might be a really nice new map. Is this an edge? What is going on here? It looks like this might be the edge of the actual map, but it looks a lot bigger than that. I don't know if we can, I don't know if there's something going on here. We'll have to explore that as well, but let's see how this car does. Oh, and there's another jump there. Just noticed. Ah. All right, let's see how this car does. Here we go. All right, so it looks pretty good so far. It's some nice, nice and low riding. Oh, it's even got the, kind of like when I did the Lamborghini video, it's got this um, intake right ventilation right here. All right, here we go. Well, the handling is already pretty good. Uh, I'm not spinning out uncontrollably or anything. Does it have an emergency brake? Oh, there is no handbrake on this thing. Oh no, uh, okay. All right, here we go. I think, I think we can get back on track. I don't think we've damaged ourselves too much yet. Just, um, all right, is self-repair on? It doesn't look like anything's turning green or red. All right, here we go, drifting around the corner. Woo! Let's see how well we can do with these corners. Oh, the drifting on this thing is, pr it seems like it has a lot of potential to do some good drifting and I just haven't gotten the hang of it yet. So we'll see if we can do this a little bit better. I love the light, oh, do, we have, do we have headlights? Yes, we do, all right. Oh, I'm not watching where I'm going. I am not watching where I'm going at all. But I've got to say so far, the handling of this car is some of the more realistic feeling. Uh, it, it's some of the more realistic feeling. I don't know. How, I don't know how to say this. It feels more realistic than a lot of the things that I've played with so far, especially the stuff that I've created. The stuff I created sometimes looks nice, but it just doesn't really drive that well. But the cornering on this thing feels great. Look at that drift. Yeah. This is really nice. Good job on this car, Logan. Uh, let's see if we can take it off. How we split? That is a huge jump. I just realized, I just got the perspective of how big that jump is. How are you supposed to get enough speed for that? All right, well, I think if any car is going to have enough speed, it's going to be this one. So let's see if we can figure out these jumps here. That one looks a little bit more doable. But this thing, that is such a long jump. And this one's lower than your landing point. But I feel like if you did that perfect, you could just have a nice smooth landing. So let's see, what is our runway like over here? All right, well, we have a corner right before the jump, so that's gonna slow us down a lot, but there is a little bit of a hill, so let's, uh, let's see if we can just turn around right here. And it looks like the repair is on. I'm noticing the deformations are going up and down, down on the bottom left. All right, here we go. Try to get some speed and not lose control. Don't lose control. Don't lose control. Uh, I'm losing control. I'm losing control. Nope, nope, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Keep it going. We're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna try it anyway. Oh, we do not have nearly an- nope. Nope. Oh, that was almost an awesome like 180 half flip onto like the quarter pipe there. 
All right, let's try the let's try the smaller jump. Or what I think is a smaller jump. Looks like we can just take it from here. So, all right, we're already all set. Here we go. Just got to get straighten ourselves out here. All right, here we go. We got this one. This one's going to go a lot better. Well, why am I lagging? Why is my That was inconvenient. I <laughs> just got like zero frames there for a second. All right, we're going to try this again. Gonna go back. I love the engine window. Just like a nice window right into the engine and back there. Excellent placement. Although I do feel like it's missing a handbrake. We could probably just connect it up ourselves if we wanted to, but that's not the original design. So we'll keep it like this for now. See if we can make this jump. Looking good so far. Looking good so far. Woo! All right. Nailed it. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. We still kind of crashed. But we're okay. We're okay. I mean, the back of us looks a little bit deformed. But I think we're doing okay so far. Let's go back the other way. Woo! Well, that one didn't work out quite as well. All right, let's take the uh, the self repair off of this one and see what happens with some crashing. We're gonna take it up onto the bridge section and see if that uh, allows for any cool stunts. All right, so I'm gonna spawn on the big one right here and I'm gonna go this way and see how good I do at navigating this thing. Yeah, look at those jumps over there. This looks like it's gonna be pretty fun. I like this map a lot. All right, here we go. All right, gonna take this first corner nice and slow. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. That was not <laughs> what I planned to happen <laughs> at all. Oh boy. And we got a nice deformation there. Check that out. Not quite the most efficient uh, or effective car design right here, but uh, it looks good. All right, let's try it again. Just be a little bit more speed conscious. We'll slow down a little bit earlier. That way we can take this corner. All right, there we go. I feel like we could have taken- Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We can do this. Straighten ourselves back out. All right, here we go. Are right, we coming up to the first jump? We got to start getting some speed. It looks like we don't need that much speed, so I'm gonna try not to overdo it, so we can slow down enough for the landing. All right, and up over. Oh, we just barely, barely skimmed the the landing ramp there. This one looks like it'll be a little bit better though. Oh, what was that? That's not that's not good. Having a little lip there. All right, do we have no speed. Do we have no speed. Why am I not turning? Why am I not turning? No, no. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Our spoiler is all messed up. Well then. All right, let's try this going the other way. See if we can go back from the other way here. All right, here we go. Oh, this is a sharp turn. Sharp, very sharp turn. All right, we got it though. We got it. Man, it's really hard to just get your bearings once you get, once you start drifting a little bit. It's just like a feedback loop. Oh, we're not going to have nearly enough speed here. No, I don't think we're going to be able to do this, but we're going to try anyway. We're going to try anyway. Oh, 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 don't go too fast. Don't go too fast. All right. All right, let's actually restart. Reset ourselves here. Get everything all set. All right, here we go. Come on, speed racer. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I don't think that was... I mean, we made it. <laughs> I think we hit a little bit head on there. But well, we're doing okay right now. Uh, let's go ahead and reset ourselves so we can get this next jump. All right, I'm going full speed this time. Full speed this time. Let's see if I can actually keep myself straight here. Uh-oh, we're drifting way too much. Oh, no. Am I going to be able to land it? Am I going to be able to land it? Nope, not quite. Not quite. All right, let's go ahead and spawn in another car, and then I want to see uh, what the deal is, because this this kind of square going around here is confusing me. I'm wondering, can I spawn outside of it? No, it doesn't look like I can. Let's spawn. Let's actually spawn right here and see what happens. We're right at the edge. It's weird that you can actually see outside of it, but there's a wall here. I think this is the first map that there's not a sky box like uh, infinite falling kind of thing on the sides. It's just, if there's an actual map below it, even though the edge of this is right here, that is kind of interesting. All right, so there's one thing left to do with this vehicle before we get on to the next one, and that is the distortion portion. So we're gonna go ahead and take, uh, we're gonna take the middle of this car here, and we're just gonna, 
stretch it out like that. Is that enough? Now let's go for a little bit more. Now the only question is, will it support its own weight? That's always the burning question. Oh, we probably shouldn't have started right there. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's actually start it on top of a straightaway right here and see if this works. All right, are we off the ground? All right, we are off the ground. Our windows are stretched back. Well, look, it still works. This is excellent. All right, how's the turning? Not bad. The turning actually feels almost a little bit better. Oh, I went way too fast. We can roll with it though. We can roll with it. Oh. <laughs> I feel like um one one thing the game needs to improve with the damage. I love the soft body physics and how everything kind of uh damages at its weak points, but s it seems like single rods or single frames, they don't actually break in and of themselves. A single solid frame this long won't bend or break. They only seem to bend at the intersection points. So I don't know how difficult that is to implement, but I think that's probably one of my only, uh, one of my, the biggest things I want to see added to the destruction, uh, physics. Other than actual, like, things tearing apart. Because right now everything seems to pretty much stay intact, except one time it didn't, and I don't know what happened there. Alright, uh, let's go ahead into the one more thing to do with this vehicle before we go on to the next one. All right, and this is probably one of my favorite distortion portion parts, and it is the vertical distortions. Let, whoop, that, that's weird. Here, let's see if we can, I don't know if this is gonna screw up the suspension. I think this might screw up the suspension doing it this way, but we'll try it anyway and see what happens. All right, I think that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and spawn back in. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, our suspension is definitely a little weird. Why didn't I fall all the way over? What's going on here? Oh, what is that? I think our steering rods, I think we stretched our steering rods. That is not supposed to be like that. Here, respawn. Yep, yeah, that is definitely not supposed to be like that at all. Here, let's see what the car, let's go ahead and spawn on the road and see what it actually looks like here. All right, so this is what it actually looks like and it looks like our steering has definitely been stretched out in a way that makes it pretty much unusable. Yep, yeah, this is just weird. This is just really weird. Can we make it down to this pit? Can we make it down to this pit? Geronimo! <laughs> oh man. I don't know why I do this stuff. <laughs> Alright, the next one we are going to be looking at is called Greater by DVS89 Russ. So this looks like some kind of uh, farming equipment. Uh, I'm have, I have completely ignorant of farming equipment. I don't know anything about farming. But it looks like this is definitely something that you'd see on a farm. I don't know what its purpose is. And it's called a grader, so I guess its purpose is to um, grade things. You know, like papers. You know, 100%. A, a plus. Alright, well, we're gonna see how many frames this thing has. 405 frames. This actually has less frames than the car. And uh, 130 panels. So, let's see uh, exactly how this thing works. Alright, this thing looks really cool. The steering is not what I expected it to be. I, for some reason, I thought the front section was gonna move. Whoa, look at the, the way this thing is bending and deforming. This is kind of crazy here. <laughs> the repair is on, and I think the repair is actually completely necessary, because look at this thing. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> it's... Right, this thing's definitely a little wobbly. It could, could use some supports here and there. But uh, for the most part, it seems to run okay. I think maybe... Oh, 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 maybe the, the steering is so... What is wrong with this thing? Look at this. When you get some speed and you try to turn, the steering is just so weird. Look at this. Ready? Uh, oh, no. Oh, we flipped it. We flipped it. <laughs> I gotta see what thing, this thing is like with the, with the self-repair off. All right, the self-repair is now off, so this thing will not straighten itself back out, I don't think. But we'll see how strong it actually is. We can already see some stress going on there. Oh, we're gonna see how it'll handle this turn. Oh, up oh, there we go. Too late. Too late. Nothing we can do now. All right, let's take this thing into a wall. Are there any walls here? That's the only thing about this map that I'm wondering about is crashing. I guess what we can do, we can just take it off this jump and see what happens. Let's do that. Why not take this thing off the jump? It's straight enough, so we should be able to manage it. 
All right, here we go. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna be able to hit this incline. Oh, it's bending so hard. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> our driver. Oh man, our driver is dead for sure. Oh, we are not recovering from this one. All right, I'm sorry, but I have to take this thing onto the crash test site because this is prime real estate for crumple damage. Okay, here we go. We are on the crash test site and we are just going straight for the flat wall. I don't think there's really, I don't think there's really any other option we have here for this. The flat wall is definitely, oh, look at those lice. Flat wall is definitely the preferred option here. Oh, I think I made a mistake. I should not have turned. All right, we got it, we got it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. If I remember how, all right, excellent. Here it comes. There it goes. Oh, look at it. Oh, that is exactly what I was wanting to happen. Oh, that is excellent. Look at it. It is just eating itself. That is so cool. You don't even see the nose anymore. Oh, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. Those are the front wheels. These are the front wheels right now. <laughs> Okay, there's one- I gotta- I gotta- I gotta do an experiment here. It is experimentation time. We're gonna do a little bit of the distortion portion with this section right here. I just don't know if it's actually going to be able to support itself after doing this. Alright, is that straight? I think it's straight. You guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? All right, <laughs> here, here we are. It's already collapsing. All right, we're gonna try to make it go. Looks like we're doing okay so far. All right, we're just gonna keep going. Hopefully I don't have to turn that much because I feel like one little turn and this thing is just gonna bend. All right, here we go. I'm not even gonna go slow-mo for this one. I just wanna see it happen in real time. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is great. I think this is my favorite crashing vehicle. This thing is so great. All right, now I have one more curiosity to satisfy. I want to go ahead, I'm going to select all of this. Oh, uh, come on, just, I'm going to select all of this right here and all of this right here. And now we're just going to do this. What do you guys think? You think it's going to work? You think it's going to work? All right, hey, this actually looks stronger. Look at that, this is totally stronger because it's thinner. I did not expect that. <laughs> this thing looks really cool too. Wow, I totally thought it was gonna be like weak and collapsed, but we've actually ended up strengthening it. How ironic, and look at us right in the middle there. All right, here we go. Full speed into the wall. I mean, full speed isn't really that fast, but you know what I mean. All right, is it gonna crumble the same way? Oh, <laughs> it didn't go all the way in, but it still did pretty well. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. All right, I like this vehicle a lot. That was a really fun one. Let's go ahead and check out what we got going on next. All right, keeping with the theme of industrial vehicles, we're gonna take a look at Skid Steer by Reverts32. Oh, that's cool how you use the steering rods here. Yeah, G and A. Okay, I was hoping that there were gonna be controls to raise and lower the, the, uh, the arm, the, what do they call this? I don't even know what they call it. The bucket? The scoop? The bin? The pail? The container? The shovel? The bathtub? I don't, I don't know. Alright, this thing is 718 frames. That is more than anything we've seen in this episode so far, and 188 panels. So we're gonna go ahead and take this thing out for a ride and see exactly how it runs. Alright, uh, it's a little... It's a little wobbly to begin with. The steering is excellent though. Look at the steering radius. Holy cow, this is crazy. It's got the rear wheel steering and everything. That is excellent. All right, let's see if the arm works. Oh yeah. That works really well. That works so well. Oh, it looks like there's a bucket arm too. I don't know how, whoops, I don't know how to actually use it. Oh, there we go, J and K. Oh, let me go backwards here. I actually didn't even expect the, the bucket to have things, but I saw the steering rods up there. So J and K do this, and then G and H do that. Woo! Woo! If only there was something for us to pick up. 
All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and put this up like this. Let's go ahead and drive around a little bit and see what happens. It handles pretty well. I'm pretty sure the self-repair has to be on. Look at how thick those rods are on the bottom. <laughs> Went a little overboard on the support, did he? All right, we're gonna turn as sharp as I can right now and see if this thing flips over or if it actually turns around. Oh, oh, what? Oh, we're dragging anything. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Holy crap. I didn't even think that was gonna... I thought I was gonna flip over for sure. That was incredible. I gotta try that again. All right, let's pick up some speed. Pick up some speed. Stay straight. All right, ready? Ready? And sharp turn. Sharp turn. How the... How does this thing do that? That is insane! This is insane! <laughs> up, up, oh, I think we... I think... I think we broke it. Having a little bit too much fun there. Alright, does it still... Can I still... Nope, it's... Nope. Alright, well, let's go ahead and turn the repair off and take this thing for a crash test and see what happens. Oh, wait a minute, self-repair was already off. That must mean that the frames are actually just really, really... Wrong? They're not. What about these ones? Okay, well, let's just take it for a crash test then and see what happens. I'm actually really surprised to see that self-repair was actually off. Alright. Oh, this thing is so good at handling. Alright, here we go. We're just gonna go as fast as we can into the wall and uh, see what happens. All right, well, we're not going that fast, but uh, we're, this, is, this is the best we're gonna do. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> why didn't our frames... I mean, I guess there's a little bit, but they're not even at max power. I don't understand why this thing is so strong. I mean, I guess there are a lot of frames for something this small. It's even got two engines in it, so I don't understand. <laughs> we just totally jumped off of the wall there. Look at that. What if we actually use... What is it, G? All right, we're gonna go into the wall. Oh, it's oh, like... Hold on a sec. Get off the wall, please. Alright, we're gonna go into the wall, and then I'm gonna press G at the same time and see if anything spectacular happens. Alright, straighten out. Straighten out. Straighten out. Alright, here we go. And... G! <laughs> oh, I broke it again. I, bro I, I broke... I broke it again. Alright, well, if... If the crashing isn't going to work on this thing, then hopefully the, the distortion portion is going to work on this thing. So we're going to go ahead and just stretch this all the way out there. And now the question is, is it even going to lift up anymore? All right, here we are. Now we have a stretch limo bobcat. Oh, <laughs> it totally still works. Oh, that is incredible. Look at this thing go. Woo! 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 Look at it stretch. It stretches the frame. What is going on? Oh, we broke it. We... Oh, wait. No, we didn't break it again. Did we break it? Yeah, I think... Oh, uh, yeah, we broke it. We broke it. What about the... Does the bucket still work? Yeah, the bucket still works. Of course it still works. All right, let's go. Wee hoo hoo! This is not something you would want on a work site, for sure. <laughs> this thing would be just absolutely deadly. Let's see if we can swing the arm into a wall over here or something. See if that does anything. All right, here we go. Swing it in. Swing it in. All right, well, it, it hit the wall. It didn't do much damage, though. Why are these frames so strong? All right, let's check out the vertical one. See how the vertical one works. I'm not really sure how that's going to work with the way that the front of this thing is designed. But we'll try it. All right, so I guess we'll take it at about uh, right here. Well, you know, I wanted to go a little bit lower so it gets the top half of the body. Yeah, because the way that these arms are going to stretch relative to each other, this is going to be interesting to see how it deals with that. Yeah, look at that. Look at the front shovel. I don't know how that's going to work. All right, some things didn't didn't like what was going on there, but we're going to spawn it anyway and see how this how this handles it. All right, it's still up. <laughs> um, it's, it's still can kind of go. All right, now I'm certain that I'm going to be able to flip this thing over. But before we even try, it looks like a foot now. Before we even try, let's see how the arm works. Ready? Here we go. Up. Hey, it still works. This thing is surprisingly, res like, functional. Like, the function is very resilient. 
despite being messed with in all these different ways. Woo! 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 Woohoo! <laughs> All right, let's calm down. Let's calm down. All right, now, now let's see if I can confirm what I predicted. That I am now going to be able to flip this thing over when I turn sharp. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. That was easy. That was too easy. Very, very top heavy is the solution to flipping this thing. Oh, broke the arm again. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode here by jumping off the mountain because how else are you gonna end an episode in this game? I mean, really. But if you did enjoy the episode, please let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite vehicle, what was your favorite part of the episode. Leave timestamps if you want to as well so other people can see what you're referring to. And don't forget to hit that like button, let me know that you liked the video, and let me know what else you want to see. Suggest other games too, I'm looking for some more games to play on the channel as well, and I kind of want to know what you guys, what kind of games you guys are interested in. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Whee! <laughs> There's the deformations I was looking for. <laughs> All right. Bye.